Bhagavad Gita, verse 3. O my teacher, behold this great army of the Pandavas, arranged in a military phalanx by your intelligence disciple Trishtadyumna, son of Prubhata. Sar Artavashni. With these words, Duryodhana is implying Trishtadyumna, the son of Drubhata, is indeed your disciple. He has taken birth only to kill you. Although you knew this, you continued to give him military training. This certainly exposes your dull intelligence. Here, Duryodhana has used the word Dimata or intelligent for Drishtadyumna. This has a deep meaning. Duryodhana once drawn Acharya to realize that although Drishtadyumna is drawn Acharya's enemy, Drishtadyumna personally learned from Drawn Acharya how to kill him. In this way, he is very intelligent. Just to arouse the anger of his teacher, Duryodhana diplomatically remarks, Now see his great intelligence, as the fruits of his training are utilized. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti Trishtadyumna Truvata, the king of Panchala, performed a sacrifice with the desire to beget a son who would kill Drone Acharya. From the fire of the sacrifice, a boy appeared, holding armor, holding armor and weapons. At the same time, a voice from the sky predicted that this son of Drubata would kill Drona. The Brahmanas named this heroic-looking boy Drishtadyumna. He learned the science of archery from Tron Acharya, who was extremely benevolent. Although Tron Acharya knew that one day Drishtadyumna would kill him, still, still, with great effort, he trained him in weaponry. Thus, Acharya Drona was killed by his own disciple in the Mahabharata war.